What's going on there, YouTube, and welcome back to another comic book video. Okay, guys, so we are going to continue our coverage over X-Force, where we actually do pick up with X-Force Annual 2022. Now, when it comes to this annual, this is actually a new beginning for X-Force comics in the Krakoa era. Now, with that being said, after this book right here, we dive deep into the destiny of X-Force era of X-Men comics, which does take place right before the fall of X era of X-Men comics. Now with that being said, when it comes to Destiny of X, or really X-Force Annual 22, we're beginning the process of seeing the downfall of Beast. Because remember, in X-Force comics, Beast had completely changed. To the point where technically, a lot of people do not like him. But at the same time, it's him right now taking a lot of big time risk. Which could lead into the idea of ending Krakoa. Could be the downfall for Krakoa. And so that's why I say, this could be the downfall of Beast are the beginning process of the downfall for beasts. And so to begin today's video, we actually do pick up right now with Beast and Sage talking to one another about the idea that right now they're about to send the X-Force on a certain kind of mission that Beast believes is the best thing for them to handle at the moment. Now here's the thing, because right now you have Sage believe that the mission that Beast had just sent X-Force on is most likely a mission that's actually not really important or it seems like he's jumping the gun before they're able to actually gather enough information about this mission because right now it's B saying that he believes that Orchid, of course one of the many new evil organizations in Marvel Comics is trying to do something big right now that could affect the mutant nation and so that is why X-Force is getting involved but right now it's safe saying I don't believe we just sent X-Force to deal with an Orchid problem. I feel like they're dealing with something else that is completely different. And the question is what? But because Sage does not trust Beast, she does call someone in to actually figure out what is Beast actually up to. And so we kind of find out that apparently Beast has sent the X-Force team on a mission to retrieve a lost shipment of Krakoan flowers. Now the reason why this is actually very weird because you have Emma Frost appear and we kind of find out that she was the person that Sage had called to technically try to figure out what Beast is actually up to. And the reason why because she never heard about the idea of a lost shipment right now of Krakoan flowers and on top of that she's kind of wondering why in the world she was not told about it but at the same time why is X-Force handling this problem? This seems more of like a hellfire situation, a marauders kind of problem. Now this is actually building off of an earlier storyline where we saw Emma Frost began the process of actually questioning Beast wondering what is he actually up to because when he came to beast in the earlier storyline he almost did lead the mutant nation into a certain kind of situation that could have been really bad for the entire mutant nation or really the entire mutant race because right now is beast just taking big risk but at the same time is beast telling emma frost I don't have to tell you everything that goes on with X-Force, but on top of that, it's just a bunch of flowers that I feel like it would be best for my team to go ahead and retrieve that lost shipment and bring it back here. But again, it's Emma saying, I don't actually trust you at all. But then we actually pick up with the X-Force team. Now when we do, it's actually right now X-Force discussing their mission and wondering why, why in the world they're going after this lost shipment of Krakoan flowers. And the reason why, because it was technically stolen by Orchid. Now here's the thing though, because for Domino, she's kind of like, this is really a big deal for one lost shipment of flowers. Like honestly, what is the big deal? And so you have Wolverine say the reason why it's such a big deal is because technically when it comes to this lost shipment, Orchid could use the flowers as a way for some kind of different purpose. 
as a way to hurt the mutant race in some kind of way. Because remember, when it comes to the flowers at this point in Marvel Comics, they produce a very nice Krakoan medicine that actually does help out the entire world. And so if Orchid is able to get their hands on the flowers and find a different way to use the flowers as a way to hurt the mutant race in some kind of way, then X-Force must step in and get that shipment back. Now with that being said, you do have X-Force being able to actually find the base and they're able to kind of break into the base. Now remember, when it comes to X-Force, it is Wolverine, Domino, and also Kid Omega. Either way, they are actually able to break into the base and find a way to figure out what in the world is going on. But here's the problem though, because as they begin their process of trying to figure out where is the lost shipment in this base? Well, that is the moment where Kid Omega is actually grabbed out of nowhere. And so that is the moment where you do have each member of X-Force actually get grabbed by different things in this laboratory. Now, this laboratory is being run by Orchid, but here's the big catch though, because when it comes to this laboratory, yes, it's being run by Orchid, yes, it is a trap, but it's not your usual kind of trap. And what I mean by that is, Orchid used this laboratory as a way to technically trap X-Force, but to study them. Because when it comes to Orchid at this point in Marvel Comics, they know a lot about the X-Men. They know a lot about X-Force and other teams that come out of the mutant nation. But at the same time though, they just keep coming back. And so why not go ahead and begin to actually study your opponents? study their different teams to make sure you have a way to stop them if they do come back over and over again. And so when it comes to this laboratory, it's really more of them saying, we have to study their Black Ops team because their Black Ops team is technically right now going out in the field and hurting us in different kind of ways. And so to prevent that, why not go ahead and study them, learn more about them so that we're able to protect ourselves from them. And so then we jump over to Beast and Emma Frost. Now when we do, it's very brief, but it's actually very important. And the reason why, because it's Emma Frost right now trying to show Beast that what he's actually doing right now is completely wrong. And what I mean by that is she remembers what he told her, that right now he's playing defense but he's actually getting his hands dirty so that he's able to protect the actual nation that they have built. But here's the thing, Emma Frost says, you're no longer playing defense. And matter of fact, it's no longer your hands getting dirty. Right now, it's other people's hands that are getting dirty. And right now, you're playing offense, but you're playing a very dangerous game of offense that could actually hurt us down the road. And that's why I say we're watching the downfall of Beast here. Now, technically, we have been seeing his downfall, but this is just another step. And with this step, it's kind of like, okay, Destiny of X, Fall of X, is all about the idea of Beast failing the mutant nation because he's playing dangerous offense. But then we jump back over to X-Force. Now when we do, this is actually the moment where we do see X-Force being able to actually escape. Now remember, this laboratory was actually made as a way to study every single member of X-Force. But here comes the big problem with that because even though you're right now studying them, at the same time though, you still have to remember that when it comes to Domino's powers, she has the power of luck. And so with the power of luck, she was able to help X-Force actually find a way to actually escape each of their rooms. And that right there begins the downfall of this actual laboratory because now X-Force is free and it all starts with Wolverine. Now, when it comes to Wolverine, he does gonna find out what this laboratory was actually made for, to find a way to actually deal with the psychics when it comes to the mutant nation. So like Charles Xavier, Jean Grey, Psylocke, and of course, Kid Omega. And so right now you have Wolverine saying they're trying to use him as a test subject, not Wolverine, but Kid Omega, to find a way to actually get rid of other psychics on the island and so you have Wolverine say let me go ahead and save my boy right now Kid Omega because 
this is actually going to be a huge problem one day for us all. But then we jump back over to Emma Frost and Beast. Now, when we do, I really do like this conversation right here when it comes to Beast and Emma Frost. And the reason why, because it's her right now pointing out what's wrong with Beast right here. And what I mean by that is you have Emma Frost say, Beast, you're no longer actually trying to protect us or make sure nothing bad happens to us. It's right now you trying to maintain your power because technically you fell in love with the idea idea of doing what you're doing right now which is controlling x-force but at the same time you believe that you have a small amount of power when it comes to our nation here and technically you do but honestly not as big as the rest of us but here's your big problem though because right now with you trying to keep that power to yourself is going to break other powers in our nation it's going to break us apart and in us all completely now, the last section of the story is really more of watching X-Force being able to break out of this laboratory. Now, we do kind of find out they're being watched by a guy known as Albert Gary. And matter of fact, we're going to learn more about Albert Gary, I'm pretty sure, in later books down the road when it comes to X-Force. Just for right now, we have no idea who he is. I mean, we do know that he technically does work for Orchid. But here's the thing, though. He was assigned to technically study X-Force. And so even though X-Force was able to actually break out of this laboratory, he says, listen, when it comes to science, you always have to do things over and over again until you're able to have a breakthrough. And so even though this laboratory was made to study X-Force, and even though they did get away, he was still able to get some kind of data. Now, yes, he does need more data, but technically right now, this is not a complete failure. But here's the problem though, because when it comes to X-Force, Kid Omega was actually able to leave the base with some kind of special item. And this item is what the laboratory was made for, to find a way to do some heavy damage to psychics. And so right now, it's Kid Omega and X-Force saying, we are going to bring this back because right now, we need to study this to make sure we have a way to actually defend ourselves because this could hurt psychics a lot. And if it does, we are screwed big time. But at the same time, though, it seems like Beast knew that technically this mission was never about flowers. Like he knew that Orchid had something up their sleeve, but at the same time, though, he did not share that information with the rest of X-Force. But this is where we are going to end today's comic book video. So please leave me a like down below and subscribe. But guys, I'll see y'all next time. Later.